Hello, this is an update on the Wildfred investment portfolios and how the markets have influenced them over the first quarter of this year. We have had a number of market events and trends to deal with so far this year, including the aftermath of the US election, company earnings announcements, the continued uncertainty over how Brexit will unfold, and also a number of elections in Europe. 2017 started very much the way 2016 ended, with stock markets on the rise and bond markets under pressure. The theme persisted through most of the first quarter, given in particular by the expectations and then the reality of an increase in interest rates in the US in March. Other factors that contributed to the strong share and weaker bond markets over the first quarter were certainly improving investor sentiment, positive Eurozone growth data, and better than expect expected company earnings reports. On the political front, while there are concerns over the new Trump administration, with the difficulty of passing legislation and some foreign policy missteps, overall investors' seem to fears seem to have eased this year. In Europe, we're looking forward to a number of elections in the Netherlands, France and Germany, which give us an indication of how the anti-establishment feeling is faring around the world, particularly whether it will build momentum or dissipate over time. So within the portfolios, the main driver of performance this year has been the core exposure to equity markets which have performed well. Property and alternatives have also contributed, but more modestly, and the portfolios have also managed to avoid any significant losses in the bond markets. It's also worth noting that each year the manager of the portfolios reviews them to make enhancements to the investment strategy, which directly affects how they are managed. So following on from this review, there are a number of changes being implemented over April and May of this year. Uh, the three major ones would be there's a change to how the currencies are hedged within the portfolios. There's also an extension of the low volatility equity strategy to include emerging markets. And finally, the asset manager is looking at how to further diversify the equity content of the fund through use of an option-based strategy. So that's your Walford portfolio update for quarter one. For any further information, please don't hesitate to contact Walford Private. Mm -hmm.